In this lecture, we will discuss the importance of creating accurate subtitles for our videos. We understand that translations play a crucial role in reaching a global audience. Utilizing AI tools can significantly enhance the accuracy and timing of translated content. These tools ensure that the content is correctly translated into the target language and displayed at the appropriate moments throughout the video. When referring to audiovisual content, it is important to clarify certain terms such as captions, transcripts, and subtitles. Captions are written explanations of the audio and visual elements that appear on the screen. They serve to provide a textual representation of the dialogue, sound effects, and any other relevant information for viewers with hearing impairments or those who prefer to read along. Transcripts, on the other hand, are a written record of the spoken content within the video. This includes dialogue, narration, and any other verbal information conveyed. Subtitles, similar to captions, display the dialogue or audio content in written form on the screen. However, subtitles are primarily used to translate spoken words into a different language, allowing viewers to understand the content in their preferred language. We have introduced HeyGen and simplified platforms at different lectures and we will visit them again. What we are doing now is also possible to do at those platforms as well. Still, I want to introduce a new tool to you, which is Maestra Eye. This is the platform I've used for subtitle generations of this course. It is very easy to use and very efficient at translations. Generally, if you are creating your videos using text-to-speech software, it is very easy to transcribe them into text with 100% accuracy. But when there are some special words like brand names and such are used, AI tools are better at recognizing and using them correctly. When you want to add additional subtitles for a processed video, you can simply open the video file again, add the language you want to translate to, and if you like, modify the produced text. At the end, you will be exporting the files in VTT format, which is suitable for Udemy, and you will add them to your videos using the interface provided by Udemy.